Well, you know, frankly, looking back, it all just seems like a blur because it just happened so rapidly and so intensely. Because a lot of it was also quite depressing and heartbreaking. So, you know, when we hear their pleas for help and all that, or as human beings, you do react on a very personal level to what's happening. As a first time voter this general elections, I am curious, excited, but also very intimidated by many of the big issues that we brought up during the elections. So to help me understand better, I'll be calling Deepa, an advocate for migrant worker rights, who is also the woman behind It's Raining Raincoats, an initiative to support and help migrant workers in Singapore. I think if you ask most migrant workers, their biggest issue will be getting paid. They're here to earn a living, they're here to support their families back home. And I think their biggest issue will be getting paid whatever it is they've been promised they'll be paid. But other than that, I think quality of food, because when you have very little else, the joy that comes from a nice meal, you can't overstate that joy. Access to uh, data and Wi-Fi, because that's their connectivity to the world, to their families back home. And really, um, you know, also a channel for them to constant sort of education and access to clear information is also, I think, quite important. These are just simple things that I think can be remedied and even if one or two of these things are changed for the better, I think it will make a big difference to them. So, you know, I should also say that we are very grateful to the MOM because we are in the task force and we're working with them and for keeping groups like us in the conversation and helping us. And I think in Singapore, for most things, we take the lead with laws and regulations because otherwise you're not going to have, you know, a uniform standard, etc. So I think regulations would help lead the way and change the course, but it also needs to have buy-in from other stakeholders, such as employers, dormitory operators. You know, they all also need to step up and do their part for the workers. What we are trying to do now is to do sort of an informal survey among the workers. To, because I think in all these conversations, it's very easy to assume that the workers need this or the workers need that. But I think it's very important to include them in the conversation, to hear their voice. But in the larger scheme of things, as this crisis carries on, I'm sure that the attention will sort of keep dipping on and off back to the migrant workers. And, you know, we, we certainly shouldn't forget everything that we know and that we've learned about what their conditions are. You know, the issue remains, but not natural to expect that the spotlight always remains on these issues. But I think it's important that, you know, when all of the election is settled, we, we continue to remain engaged, um, you know, with this community, bearing in mind that they don't vote. They don't really have a say in what happens to them. So we have to continue to be their, um, their champions.